Greco Roman coach, Matt Lindlin at the Pan American Championships in Argentina. Coach, you guys just won another Pan Am title. Talk about what your thoughts were on the guys' performances this weekend. Well, I think our guys are also really good this year uh, down here at the Pan Am Championships. Uh, we had we put a lot more emphasis on it because we know that next year is going to be one of our biggest challenges is qualifying all the weight classes for the Olympic Games. Uh, I'm really happy we qualified all the weights for the Pan Am Games this year. and uh, Guys wrestled well. I mean, we, we still got some, some work to do and some ground to cover, but uh, I was pretty excited overall about the way our athletes competed. I'm sure a big goal coming into this was qualifying weights for the Pan Am Games. You guys qualified all six, um, well, the five that you needed to qualify. What's that feel like? What do you, I mean? Ah, uh, it's a relief. <laughs> and that was, that was our major goal, and that was the reason why uh, really, this is the first time we did a did a two week training camp just to prepare for the Pan Am Games. When you come down to South America, I mean this is this is their Olympic Games. If they don't qualify uh, guys, they don't get medals. Uh, they're not going to possibly send a guy to the World Championships. And uh, you know, I don't know if I, I always agree with that philosophy because maybe you just had a bad tournament. But I think I think overall, if you can't get a medal in your Continental Championships. I think it, it's you've got a long ways to go to get a medal at the World Championship. So um, this is definitely a step in the right direction for the U.S. Greco program. Uh, I'm, I'm thrilled about the way our guys competed and the way we, we our camp was excellent. Uh, we we did some really great stuff. I love how Max uh, scrambled out of you know he got he got put down. Uh, he was losing. He scrambled out of a gut wrench, uh, got on top, turned his opponent. That was one of the areas that we were focusing on really reacting in those situations. Uh, we identified that was an area that we can improve on and, and we gained some ground there. Um, Ellis with his tight gut wrench, he, uh, he was working on pressure. So we worked a lot of offense and defense in the parterre situations. And it was nice to see Ellis got that gut so tight he cracked the guy's ribs and turned him over. Um, so a lot, a lot of positives to take away from here. Um, I know the guys are probably uh, pretty stoked to go uh, wrestle the Opens next week. So was the common factor there the, the parterre? Because after the first session, we had outscored our, we had outscored our opponents 129 to 16, um, putting up tons of points, shutting out lots of guys. Is that, is that the major difference there? I, I, I think we're improving there. I, I, I know there's there's a lot of areas we can, we can still improve on. We can still cover, gain some ground in that area, um, offense and defense. We also gave up a few turns in parterre. So um, we got to continue to work on that. Um, I, I'm, not, I'm really suspect about that. That uh, I got to watch it on film. If Kamal exposed, I don't think he exposed, and they gave him two. I'm not sure if they called it a correct lift because uh, his feet were on the mat. Um, that that match was just horrendous overall. Uh, there was a lot of things wrong with that match, and it, it's really sad because uh, we, you know, we need officials to do things right. They need to, they need to call things fairly and, and correctly, and they need to follow their own set of rules. And, and if we have to play within the rules, so should the officials and the rest of the, the world. You're referring to Kamal's finals match. What do you tell guys moving forward from a match that has so many questionable calls? Well, you know, I, I, I definitely told the guys coming down here, like, don't expect any favors. Don't expect any good calls. Expect the worst. Um, you know, the, the, it's, it's the United States against South America and, and Central America. And, you know, I mean, the... The officials are afraid to make the right calls because the crowd's booing. It's it's everybody against the United States, um, so it's it's a little hard. What do I tell my athletes after that kind of horrendous match? Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, they made a lot of bad calls in, in, in your opponent's favor, and uh, I mean, just go watch the match. I don't want to make excuses for my athletes. We got to get better. We gotta, we gotta take it out of the officials' hands. There's no question about that. But uh, there was, there was two calls that were confirmed. Uh, we got a uh, passivity and a one. We never got our chance on top, and they took the, they took the passivity away. It was up on the board, confirmed, and the, the head official uh, called a conference, and all of a sudden they, it doesn't exist anymore. We get, uh, we get a negative wrestling call with the, the Cuban opponents all over Kamal's fingers. And they take that away from us. Um, and the challenge, I mean, you have to challenge immediately. You can't challenge, you know, 30 seconds after the match is going and then they'll review a judgment call. That's That doesn't happen. Those aren't, those aren't the rules. So I, I don't understand. Um, we're gonna have to figure this out. We gotta get it fixed. Uh, 
you, you, what you want to see is scoring. And if you're allowing the opponent to grab the fingers and stop scoring, which is negative wrestling, it was the right call, um, you were not going to see scoring. And, and that's, that's not entertaining for our fans. We want our fans to, to scream and cheer and yell because of the exciting wrestling, um, not because of the poor officiating. Coach, you're heading to the U.S. Open next week. What are you excited to see from a national tournament like this? You know, I, I'm just excited to see the guys compete and see all emerges out of there. We'll kind of start setting our ladder up for the trials this year. And, uh, yeah, I'm just looking for it. I'm, you know, I'm kind of a wrestling fan and, uh, as it is. So getting to watch uh, getting to watch all our guys compete is uh, exciting for me. Very cool. Thanks, Coach.